started eating chocolate here. Whatever's left of the Easter chocolate, which isn't very much. I literally just tried to create or recreate Sophia Richie's um, wedding makeup. And I don't think it did too bad. Like, let me show you in a different light. I think it actually looks quite good. But we're not here today for that. We're here for a Zara haul. So I will get stuck into it very soon. Um, I went from uh, shoveling manure today to this. So that was um, quite a switch around. But you might want to know the story, the backstory anyway, to the horse manure before I get started into this haul. If you have been here before and subscribed to my channel and watched some of my vlogs, you know that I do horse riding lessons. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe because a lot goes on in this channel. I will put this in the next vlog and I might insert a clip here as well. I, my dad, said to me, okay, next time you go on the horse riding lessons, can you go ask her if you can grab a bag of manure, horse manure, if she's not using it? I was like, okay. So I came up today with my big bag and a shovel and started digging in with a pitchfork and got some manure for my dad to fertilize his plants. And that's the story. Anyways, uh, if you didn't come here to talk about like manure, you came to see the Zara haul. So I'm gonna get you. Sorrow boxes. We have two, two sorrow boxes today. Um, it's a lot of basics, mainly because I'm in that sort of whole mindset of buying to rewear to try and be more sustainable. So I've got like basics that I need or basics that I think I need. Then we have a couple of trendy items too from Sara, but I'm gonna need your help. You're gonna have to help me decide what to keep. And don't forget to give this video a like. And just for reference, all the way through, I am five foot one, and typically size eight and top, and the inside eight and bottom. Okay, I'm gonna get stuck right into it. The first basic is this Sara bomber jacket, and I'm sure everybody and their aunt probably already has one right now, because they come in different colors. They're still like a sellout piece. I originally got it in the navy in a size medium months ago, and then I thought about it, and I was like. Okay, the medium is a little bit big on me. It was sold out and I couldn't get an exchange of a small. Plus also, I don't wear a lot of navy. I'm not really somebody that gravitates to navy very often. So I thought I need a jacket that'll go with everything. And I'm just looking at this. It's gonna be a staple in my wardrobe. I'm gonna wear it lots and lots. It's got lovely big shoulder pads in it, button poppers, fabric detail here, and then you've got your knitted detail um, on the cuffs. And the price of this is $89.99. Oh, the most perfect jacket that Sarah actually came out with. I got this red bag, which I think makes it pop even more, um, from Vintage. It's a real leather, genuine leather bag. Jane Shilton, I think, and I got it for six pound on Fended. It was probably, I don't know, like a hundred pound back in the day. I'm gonna forever be wearing this little jacket. Let's do it up as well for you. It's be perfect with a pair of heels or ballet flats. Like you can just tuck it up and kind of make it look more cropped. I got the size medium last time. It was massive. Size small is definitely better fit. And I like oversized, but the size small just has like the perfect amount of oversize look to it um, and then you've got little pockets in here oh my goodness are you kidding me this is one thing that annoys me like i do fashion design this is one thing annoys me pockets that are fake especially for a 90 pound jacket no i would almost i would almost send it back but i love it too much <laughs> but it does annoy me like pockets if you're going to like price the jacket at that price have real pockets, not fake ones. Sorry, it's just pet peeve. There will be no more negativity on this channel. Positive vibes only. What's that saying after yoga that we do? Namaste. <laughs> I got myself two pairs of jeans. Um, this first pair I got in a size eight and it is just, it's a lovely denim blue, like a dark denim blue, but then the knees on it or the, the thighs on it kind of look faded in the middle. These are the other jeans I got in a size six. I kind of want, that oversized look, but I didn't know whether I should go for my normal size in jeans, which I usually go for a size six in Zara. I'm gonna double check, but as far as I'm aware, they are both mid-waist jeans. The lighter pair is a mid-rise baggy wide leg. The darker pair are mid-rise boyfriend jeans. To me, they both look exactly the same. I've only different colors, and I got a size six and one and a size eight. Anyway, we're gonna try them on together. And then I got this top. So this is my trending piece, because obviously I'm not gonna wear it loads but I love it. It literally looks like the waist of the jeans here and then they've taken like the leg and they created this top. It's got a little 
gotten and a sip here. It's to me, this is genius. I love design, I did fashion design, so I love all this. And this is my quirky little piece and I love a double denim at the moment, which in my last video that I did, my last haul, you will know that I was like double denim, not a thing for me. And now I'm obsessed with a double denim. And I got this in a size small and it was $29.99. These are the size eight jeans first. They're very long, very baggy. They feel very comfortable though. I don't know if the size six will be too tight. Do you think they're too baggy looking? Are they cool? Are they cute? To me, they're like a really nice mid waist. Let's try on the next pair. Okay, I am literally obsessed, obsessed, obsessed. I love this look so much. Um, this is obviously the size six jeans. There are flies annoying me, so if any flies buzz in here, they're annoying me too. I haven't got my back tanned, I couldn't reach any peers to help me this evening. So, this is how they fit at the back. They just feel like, um, no, they're slightly tighter, ever so slightly tighter, but they actually feel really good. I think they look really good too. Like, what do you think? I quite like them. I don't know if they're worse or better than the last ones, but um, I like the way they match this top as well. And I love the double denim look. I feel like I get away with this for a night out. I love the detail. I just love this little quirkiness of this top. I mean, I could wear it with um, maybe white linen trousers or something as well. A 90s, very white UK look. I love. What do we think? Jeans wise as well, am I keeping these ones? The other ones, I, I think I'm going to keep these ones. I think these ones just fit a lot more better. I think they're not even just as long as the other ones. And I will probably have to do the same thing that I always do. I always get my jeans and I cut them. It'll give a nice vintage frayed kind of edge to the jeans. It'll give them a bit of extra design value to them. Then I got this little skirt. So I'm on the hunt for this kind of beige collar and a skirt skirt for the summer. The reason I got this one, again, is a very trendy little piece because of the design of the waistband. I love, love this. It looks like it's part of a shirt. Okay, back to our basics. Um, I always keep replenishing my wardrobe with basics, especially whenever, you know, my t-shirts go done. These, I love Sarah's basics. Like they're a rib detail knit tee. I like them quite tight, so I just got these in a size small. Black and white, I always need to replenish my white ones because having kids, tan, white, always needs to be replenished. $9.99, can't beat it. Okay, so this is a basic t-shirt. I, I love the fit of their basic t-shirts. Definitely stand. This is the skirt, ignore the legs. They still need tanned. It's not too bad. Again, I don't know, it's maybe, it's just probably not something I'm going to wear all the time. I will try it on with my jacket. Cute. Very nice. We like, we like, we like. But, um, yeah. I'm just probably not going to get enough wear out of this. That's the only thing. It is nice. Love the fact it's a sport. Always feels a little bit more like secure. So, got this in a whim. I'm not really mad about sheer stuff. Because I just never know what to wear with the sheer stuff. So, this. It's like a loosely knitted top, which is obviously going to make it sheer. I saw it on Lauren Crow, and then she got a size large. So then I panicked and thought, oh no, I've just ordered this in a size small. And it looked beautiful in her. So I don't know if it's going to go that well on me or look that well on me. I actually don't know what I'm going to wear it with. So your guess is as good as mine. Let's go find out. Like I just don't know how to wear this. No. This is just not as cute as it was on Lauren. Like honestly, if you go see Lauren, hers was way cooler than this. I definitely think um, I should have gone up sizes. Like how do you make this look cool? If I tuck this up and make it kind of, is that better? I just feel like this is not really a me top. I feel like it looks like a mosquito net. Whatever way I looked at it there, I was like, looks like I tried to make my mosquito net work. It is not a skirt. This is in fact a dress. It's like a little midi dress, maxi dress. And it is in this beautiful sort of champagne apple color. It's like a real pastel sort of apple shade. It's a really weird color, but it is beautiful. Satin and me sometimes just don't get on, but I'm gonna try it on anyway. Um, This one was $45.99. Look nice in the model. 
Still doesn't mean it's gonna look nice on me, but we are gonna try it. Okay, so it's official. This dress hates me. It has potential, but it's just not that nice on me. But then, like I told you, satin and me don't get on. I need loads of shapewear. <laughs> like, what is that man here? I just, I just think, you yeah, know. And also, what's this? Like, maybe if I went up a size, but I feel like if you go up a size, then you lose the security. I just know that this dress does not like me. And I very much do not appreciate it either for making me look like this. I also got this skirt, which I thought was again was kind of trendy, cool piece. It is like a draped skirt. I have this idea in my head how nice it will be styled. But my only problem with this is that I've had this in my basket for weeks and it's not even nearly out of stock at any size. So then I was thinking, okay, is there a reason nobody else is buying this? Maybe it's a terrible one. Maybe this is a really bad piece and maybe it's a really bad decision by even purchasing this. But I decided to give it a go anyway and try it out. Okay, so again, you're gonna to have to excuse the lack of tan on my legs. If I speed up talking, it's because that camera light is flashing at me that the battery's gonna die soon, <laughs> so that's why. Um, this is what I envisage for it, something just plain, white top. Um, I know now why people probably didn't keep this because it keeps creeping up and creeping up and I'm short so if you're any taller than five foot one it's going to show everything it's just not like you know you're gonna to have to keep pulling it down and uh, this is also what I wanted to style with it it has potential in some ways and in some ways it just looks awful I'm sending it back because like I can't deal with this like just creeping up on me um before I know it I'll be flashing somebody and, and that's that's not cool this jacket that I got is from the kids section yes the kids section so i wanted a quilted coat and i did get one from mango but i thought i'm not going to get loads of wear out of it i sent it back because then i saw this kids one and it's a fraction of the price so this was like 30 pound the detail and the pattern on it is absolutely beautiful and if you're five foot one and you want to get something from the kids section i think this is like 14 15 i'll double check us shorties are getting away with it and we're getting to shop it's our kids that's 13 to 14 years of age it's cute i just think for me it's not oversized enough but like i mean what an absolute steal for the kids section like i might actually go um shop in the kids section more often and the piece the resistance i have to go with my nails are these actually had um seen these ages go they were in my basket then i took them out and then they went out of stock and then i was like oh no oh no you know the dread you know the the fear of missing out that's what i had so as soon as they came back in stock i was like nope I'm getting these i am obsessed with pointed toes at the moment pointed toes are my achilles heel that's our kitten heels i got these vintage ones of vintage. I tried looking for silver and I couldn't find any and that's why I had to go back and purchase them these at full price because obviously the vintage ones are on vintage are a little bit more inexpensive than what you're going to pay. Although well, these were relatively cheap there's only $29.99 but these were still cheaper and I'd say these probably cost a hundred pound back in the day and I got them for like 20 pound. So guys that is everything from my Sarah haul today. Thank you so much for watching and please do come back. Don't forget to subscribe and like if you haven't already and I will see you later in the next one. Bye! So, well, let's go see what I got. <coughs> <coughs> oh, I'm choking.